Hi and welcome to another Tabler's Glass Emporium YouTube video. This week was a special one for me, making a project for my bestie. She loves sloths, as you might remember from Meet the Team, and we made her this jungle scene. Now for this, we decided to make a whole new range of Marini. So we've got a, a four-piece parrot, which comes with its own wings, body, and tail. Um, everyone keeps wanting to put the tail the other way up, but you can see when it's on there, they really look like they're flying. Uh, we've got two cans in the trees, so we've got the old two cans, we've got a cockatoo and we've got parakeets over here. This parakeet is bending down to get some nectar. We've also got these fantastic beautiful moths. So those are all array available in our jungle scene. Um, oh and a gecko, sorry thanks Tina has been pointing out the gecko, which is awesome. We're going to be doing a, a jungle theme mix. Um, you might get the animal mix and then you can get the full mix with orchids as well. Um, we've used a lot of our flamework leaves to create the tree which worked brilliantly. Um, really love this. I mean the really clever the thing I did was um, with the moths I used a bit of landscape line for their bodies and because they're different colours they worked really well. I wish I'd thought of it earlier because it works really well as bodies. We've got some of our bugs in there as well and some of our caterpillars. It's such a vibrant piece, Cos, what do you think of it? I love it and I just want to say a huge thank you to Tabitha and Tina for a beautiful yeah. project. It's been a really fun one to do but slightly, I mean the, the getting this three-dimensional feel to it um, is quite tricky, quite challenging but I think worth it and it really feels like a jungle. Um, so today we're going to show you how we made this. We had a bit of sound issues, but you can see I've created the top half. I'm just going to blend in some green at the bottom now. I'm using Peapod because it doesn't react with um, the light cyan and the other colours I've used above. You can always get our reactions table that shows you what reacts and what doesn't. Well, I'm just going to do a good kind of covering of Peapod all over. And I don't mind it, it's sort of splodging into the... Um, mountains above, that's all right with me. Um, so I've used the people to, so that we don't have any reaction. I do want to use some jade green. That does react with things like spring green. Um, 
it's a kind of good lush jungly color i'm going to sort of use that in more of the background areas and then i'm going to use a bit of spring green more in the foreground And I've got some um, forest green, dark forest green. It's kind of a really great colour, which I'm also going to put in the background. Uh, really loved it in some other projects we've done, um, bringing it in because it doesn't react. It can kind of come into the foreground a bit as well. Um, and just then we've got the adventurine. So I'm just going to use pinch. So this is ready to go in the kiln, we'll tack fuse it, just a very light tack fuse just to get the powders to stick um, and then we can go from there.
So we have all of this, which we cut on the Taurus. Guys, if you don't have a Taurus, um, you could always, uh, well, it's going to be hard on the sloth. There are amazing places out there doing water jet cuts, shapes, so you could get that. The branch, you could just um, full fuse some brown together and make your branch that way. But we've got it like this. Now, I don't really want to put too much glue on because it's going to um, uh, affect the enamels, but I'm just going to put our monkeys going on the branch like so. We're going to put fibre paper underneath. I'm not going to glue our sloth on. So then we've got lots of um, flame work leaves that are going to go on. Now I'm going to make sure they're really attached well. I'm putting one at the end of each of these branches just to start with. And then I'm going to fill it out. I've got quite a lot of flame work leaves in different colours. I've just drawn a mark here because I know that this is the edge of the glass. So I want to make sure I don't go longer than that. Um, I definitely want a lush jungle feeling with lots of green on it. So we're going to add these green leaves and then we can see how it looks. We should have filmed this guys but we didn't but we basically took our pieces we um, fused yesterday and put them on top of here so we knew exactly where we had space and where I was covered and then we, you see we put some black marks. Um, where we know there is space uh, to put other things um, on this background piece. We know we wanted to build up some green here um, to make this feeling really lush. We've added just, you know, lots of different things. So we've done used wafers and then cut into them on the, um, where the Taurus saw to make them more like these leaves, which look amazing. Um, we used a lot of our flame work leaves here made another little tree with some flowers and look we've decorated it with our all of our um, cockatoos and parakeets and we've got our new moth here these are tree trunks and i cut a tiny piece of these tree trunks to be the bodies of the moths and they just work really well they look awesome look at our parrots they're flying in the sky above um down here we've got our orchids because you know what's the jungle like orchids i put some bugs We've got our chameleon. Look at our little chameleon friend here. Um, we've got some more bugs, uh, more parakeets. And then over here, we've created at the front, which will go right at the front. This is our XL moth. Now, the regular size moths aren't actually available. We've only got the XL. So here is our sloth. We've added these little yellow, um, these are actually mini orchids on the center of the flowers to um, just give them that pop of color. It really works. And we've added some of our XL parakeets and cockatoos over here. I've also added some butterflies, um, just to, you know, add an extra dimension and even a little bug. So this will all go in the kiln, very nice long slow tack fuse, and we will see how it looks when it comes out. So now we need to put the piece together. Now I've already started kind of working out. Um, we've glued some stacks of six mil together last night, so they're really nicely glued. Um, and I was sort of, when we did it, we worked out kind of the layers um, before we did the background. Um, so we've actually cut quite a lot off the banana tree to bring it lower because you couldn't kind of see the bananas. And Coral was like, oh, bananas. And then we're like, you can't see them. So we've dropped the whole tree down a bit, um, which means we've then added in a couple more flame work leaves up here. Um, so I've got stacks of three glass here. So the sloth will go on them. I just have to line it up like so. Then we have this piece here that goes in here like that we have the parrot tree going in like that and this will all be glued then we're going to grind these and these will stick to the outside of the frame like so and that is our jungle theme finished i uh, will actually just add an extra leaf or two here because i'm not so loving the straight trunk right down the middle of the piece um, so we'll get this all glued and then you can see how it finally looks. So here it is all done and in its frame, looking beautiful. Really, really pleased how this comes out. We'll take some great stills with it without the glass on so you can really see the incredible depth this piece has. So happy with it, so pleased how it looks. All our Marini look fabulous and great collaborative effort between 
Tina and I on this piece, really loving it. So this will stay here for the weekend. We'll make sure the glue is really, really solidly dried. We're gonna turn it flat again in a minute and make sure that stays like that. Um, just so you know, these pieces here were glued onto the, there's a surrounding bit of square board that goes on that and those were glued onto the, the actual frame whereas everything is, else is glued to the backing glass. So it's a kind of clever technique to really give this feeling of depth in this piece that I'm really pleased about. Hope you've liked this one. Go check out Tabitha's Glass Emporium, all these amazing new marine you can get. We've got our flamework flowers in there as well, our flamework leaves and all of our amazing marina. You've got the butterflies, so many in there. These are actually um, water lily flowers up here, but I think they work brilliantly in the jungles too. And there's quite a lot of wafers in there. You've got um, fire, uh, fire petal wafers and water lily uh, wafers in there as well, working brilliantly in the background uh, as part of this piece. So go check those out as well. Wafers, fantastic for this piece. I hope you enjoyed this one and until next time, happy fusing.